I'm Steve from This Week with Cars, and this is my 1952 MGTD. This might be a quick one today. This is one of my favorite cars to drive. These cars drive beautifully, and people think that these are a lot older cars than they really are because they have a shape that's been carried over from the 1930s. Today I'd like to make the car just a little more reliable by installing a solid state SU fuel pump in place of the original points unit. The fuel pump on the MGTD is located right here on the right hand side under the bonnet. And if you had one of the MGTD Mark IIs meant for racing, you would have two fuel pumps sitting here. I'm going to take the end off of the fuel pump so that I can show you how the points work in here. Hiding under the back of the pump is a set of points. You can see the contacts here. And then there's a matching set of contacts. If I would just pull this back, Here's the points closing and opening. Just like on your ignition, the points on your pump will corrode over time. There is a screw down here that you can remove one side of the points to take them out and clean them. And once these front contacts are removed, it exposes the faces of the rear contacts. I'm going to turn the ignition on so you can see the points operation. Your points will click and the fuel pump will pump up until the pressure needed for the carburetors has been met. If your pump continues to pump, you may have a bad float valve or some other fuel leak. So here's the new pump. It looks just like the old pump. And all the connections are the same, so this is a very easy swap. One thing to remember is these old pumps don't matter if it's a positive or negative earth car, but these new solid state pumps it does matter and if your pump has a red piece of tape on it like this that means that this is a positive earth pump if this tape right here is black then it's a negative earth pump and you will have to order the correct solid state pump for your car The new solid state pump is installed. Let's turn it on and see what it sounds like. You can hear it's much quieter than the original pump. It sounds more like a vibration than it does a clicking. This new pump should work better than the original, but more importantly, it shouldn't require any maintenance. There's one last thing to do, button the bonnet back up and take it for a drive, make sure it works. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. It makes a big difference in what YouTube lets me do. Let's go for a drive. 